Sponsoring Poverty, World Bank and IMF Structural Adjustment Programs from 1990. Many years after independence, many African countries had accumulated large amounts of debt that often exceeded their gross domestic product or GDP. By 1990, the total debt carried by African countries was about $135 billion. Most of what countries were borrowing during that time was used to service other loans that were borrowed in the previous decade. Many African countries could no longer directly borrow from banks, so the World Bank and the IMF created loan programs that often came with very harsh conditions. These loans were packaged as structural adjustment programs. Although the World Bank and the IMF disguised these programs as aid for African countries, they were created to aid commercial banks in recovering the money they had loaned to African governments. Most of the loans made under the structural adjustment programs were used to service debts owed to commercial banks. Governments and the World Bank never, but never really benefited Africans. African governments were required to devalue their currencies so that exports could be cheaper, to increase resources available for cash crop agriculture and therefore less for food production, to cut public sector employment and cut social services and subsidies. These reforms were actually designed to aid Western countries. Allocating more resources to cash crops compromised food production and is probably related to some of the food shortages that are faced in some African countries. Devaluing their currencies made imports cheaper and weakened the local industries. Western countries were now able to sell more of their goods in Africa, but at the expense of local African industries. Devaluing their local currencies also meant that locals who produced goods were now getting less for them, which lowered their income and created more poverty. Cutting social services like access to health care and education also meant that African countries were not able to invest in their human capital, which has long-term ramifications that they are still experiencing today. By the late 1990s, most countries that had implemented the World Bank and IMF-sponsored structural adjustment programs were experiencing negative GDP growth per capita. The term structural adjustment program has gained such a negative connotation that the World Bank and IMF launched a new initiative, the Poverty Reduction Strategy Initiative, and makes countries develop poverty, poverty reduction strategy papers. While the name has changed, the World Bank is still forcing countries to adopt the same types of policies as structural adjustment programs. Therefore, it is always baffling why Africans continue to trust the World Bank and the IMF when it is consistently evident that their policies are meant to impoverish the African people.